Hey everybody, it's Gameragi. We're back with Crosscode. Last time we finished off the uh, right dungeon and got the power of wave. I, that's not how you do it. That's how you do it. So now we have all four elements. All of them, man. What am I doing with all these? I don't know. But uh, I guess first things first, we gotta solve what are the, whatever issue these shad are having now with these wickets again. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> Hopefully uh, this researcher lady over here, Lucretia, will help us. This way, Seeker. Okay. Oh lord, look at that. There they are. Please ignore them for now. We'll deal with those in a bit. To my office! Okay. I hope you have a plan, Lucretia. Make yourself comfortable, Seeker. This may take a while. Uh, so, we know that the power plant isn't causing this problem. You know why? Why? Because the jungle was already infested when we started building the plan. The Shad here seemed to forget about that, but I understand their frustration. Also, these cats, they attack on sight. Normally, subtypes of the same family follow the same patterns, meaning they should behave like show cats, or shaw cats, but they don't. This got me thinking, where have I seen this before? Well, the Bergen Mine, of course. The track itself spawned those these little bugs that took over our machinery and integrated it into its temple. So maybe the same thing is happening here. Something is controlling those cats and making them so hostile. I studied those bugs for quite a while, you know. Fascinating technology. They used a special frequency and impulses to override systems. Obviously, I extracted both the frequency and the semi-magnetic impulse rate. Where is it? Ah, there you are. And done. That was easier than I expected. What are you doing? Everything's ready. Let's head outside for the field experiment. All right, cool. Something is controlling the wildlife. Good, first step. Let's get rid of the cats and their source. You know how to deal with them, right? Guards, the barrier, please. Good luck. Good luck, have fun. Are you going to wave? Yes. Yes, you are. Oh, 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 God. Okay, remember that these cats are like ridiculous. Once you break them, don't get near them. Okay, wow, that was super fast. Ha! So much data! Come back. Over here. Okay. Hello. Perfect. I took some measurements and things are behaving exactly as I expected. You see, you might think the wickets and their source are already defeated. But in fact, we only scratched the surface of the problem. Next step, take this device. It's a fair device. Ooh, yay. <laughs> How? I call this the frequency and impulse rattler, or the fair. This device is able to disrupt a lar rather large field around you. Anything that uses the same frequency should get picked up by this device. And if my calculations are correct, you should be able to see the real source of the problem. So please, go ahead. Ah, uh, okay. See? I knew it! We just uncovered another hidden part of the tracks working. These poles must be the true source controlling and spawning the cats over time. Now that we can see them, we should be able to remove them. Go ahead, Seeker. But be careful. These poles are the real thing. They might behave differently. Uh-oh. That's not good. Whoop! I guess someone needs a lesson here. Uh-oh. 
What is happening? What? What? They just keep... They just keep on spawning, man. Woo, woo, woo. Uh-oh. That's no good. <laughs> Uh, okay. Looks like it's not over yet. Okay. They spawn in both directions. They're splitting apart. I gotta use different elements. Oh, sweet lord above. What's happening? EXE repair error plus plus. Uh, do I have to use the same color as what it is? Oh, yeah. No? Oh, oh this one, this one. It's giving it a shield, man. And then we can... Then we can... Yeah. I don't really know what's happening. <laughs> I'm just beating up the sticks. Because there's like a bazillion. Okay. Come back here, Seeker. Okay. That was quite educational. Well, maybe for you. Who would have thought the track could hide these poles in plain sight? And nobody ran into them with their foreheads or anything. Seems they form a kind of chain stretching out over a larger area. This mechanism feels somewhat familiar, though I can't put my finger on it. what it does exactly. I need more data, Seeker! Ooh, hello. That surprised even me! This pole here pointed downwards, right? So this means there are more of these. Maybe they lead to a kind of route from which all these poles originated. In which case, you must find it! Please come back and report your findings once you do, okay? Great. I'll be in my office again, pondering on what we found so far. Okay. Ponder away! I'll go beat up some poles, I guess. <laughs> that was interesting. I guess the this is where we're gonna go into the infested mushroom area that I totally bypassed before. Sounds good to me. Hello. Where was that again? Uh, I guess. I gotta go down one more. That. No kitty cats. No meow meows. Hello. There's one. Oh my god. But do I just have to follow one of them or like how does this thing work? <laughs> just keep following the line. Okay, that's one. Uh-huh. So we had a blue one. Oh my god, oh my god. Ugh. We had a blue one, we got a red one. Uh Wait, where'd he go? Okay, what? What just happened? Something. Oh, hey, what? Oh my goodness. How far does it go? Ugh. Oh, now I gotta beat up the cats. Oh my god. Please! <laughs> Machine gun wave! Oh my god. All these cats. Beat it up! Woo. All the poles to the east of Old Timber. Uh huh. See where it's going? Yes. What's up there, though? I never went up there. Should I take a quick sneak peek? 
Holy moly, what, what in the world are you? A behesloth. It's like a behemoth, but a behesloth. <laughs> That's pretty hilarious. Okay, well, I'll come back. I'll come back to you. I've got a mission. A super secret mission. Hello, normal kitty. No time for playing. So many mushrooms. Oh, hey. I can break these guys. Alright. Take that! Take that, you poles! So many of these things. I mean, they don't really have a whole lot of chance to ooh, do anything. So I guess that's good. Oh, oh god. Okay. Ooh. So, like, I didn't even have to go the other direction, is it? I'm missing something with these. Like, there's clearly a way I'm supposed to be going when they branch off like that. <laughs> it's very interesting. Wow. All new purple mushrooms I can beat up. It's awesome. I need to analyze all the plants. All of them. Guess someone needs a lesson here. What the heck? Jack on fire. Oh, I need those. Ooh. Come here, Jack on fire. I need your your essence. Ooh, man, they are tough cookies. Jack's flame. I got one. I forget how many of those I need for that uh that mysterious guy's quest. Uh Jack on fire. I need seven of those? Oh man. Okay. Noted? Six more to go. Man, this is crazy. It's like a whole other area of the jungle that I haven't even explored yet. That was the last landmark, though. Okay. Where are we? Infested marshes. Okay, yeah. I can see that. That's a, that's a fitting name. Ah, and we got all the plants too, huh? Or no, all the requested items. Okay. Hmm, getting kind of hungry for mushrooms. Really? Those huge blue and purple mushrooms make you hungry? Why not? Don't you folks eat cheese with blue mold and stuff like that? Whoa, hold up. Let's not fall back to stereotypes here. But we. Rogue Fort is pretty neat sometimes. <laughs> you wouldn't want to eat these, man. They look like poisonous or something. Ah! Oh my god. Oh man, he totally evaded. <laughs> I can't hit him. I can't hit him. Oh, he's way up high. It's like, what the heck? <laughs> In the water you go. Jack on fire. Oh, what? <laughs> what in the world just happened? Oh, he just nuked me for like 1400 damage. Oh, okay. You're going down, buddy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
Take it easy. We broke him. Nuke him. Yeah. Two. We now have two. I gotta break all these again because I'm missing something. Hello, there it is. Take it out. There's the red one. Get it. Boom, 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 boom. Man, these things just keep going. Maybe I just got lucky before that, like, all the colored poles I needed to take out were in one direction. Ah, this one's a shield, man. Take it out. Ah. It has multiple shield thingies. Man, if they start adding these to higher elevations, I'm gonna be in trouble. <laughs> I gotta platform my way to victory. Uh. Oh my god. It just keeps going and going. Does it ever stop? Oh my goodness. Hey, we did it. <laughs> we finished the quest again. Okay, cool. Man. Wonder how gnarly the root of this thing is. still haven't gotten to this second level where all this teleporting and switch nonsense is going on. I, uh, it's gonna be a lot. Hello. You're going down. I call left path. <laughs> this is where I've been before. Oh, we got a kitty. Take it out. Oh my god, they're so fast. Where is this? Where's it coming from? Oh, I gotta... I gotta go down this path to uncover the shield generator. Oh my god. Okay, take out that one. Holy moly. Oh, what? There's more shields? Dang it. <laughs> Take it out! Alright, now I can wreck you. There was some revive thing going on there. Did you see that? As if these poles weren't nasty enough. Yeah, see, revive, look. Dude, are you reviving it? Stop it. Uh, oh, the cats. Yeah, the kitty cats, right. <laughs> oh, man, my eyes, I don't even know what's happening. An impenetrable fence with enormous holes in it. What are we gonna do? How are we gonna get through that? Oh. Oh dang, it's a behe sloth. Well, thank you. 
He saved the day. Uh. All right. Oh my God! Two of them. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Watch it there, buddy boy. I got more sandwiches, by the way. I got like 50 of them. Okay, you don't want to be near them when they explode. Woo! They're like self-destructing. That's what hit me before that huge self-destruction thing. <laughs> Okay, noted. I will be on the lookout for that. Okay, let's follow that behisloth up here. Looks like he tried to get some honey from these or something. Whatever's going on with these flowers here. <laughs> Follow the creature into the cave, at infested heart. Okay. Is this a wise thing? Are we making good decisions? Alrighty. Oh, the cave is instance. Looks like we're on our own. Good luck, everyone! What? Why didn't we just beat it up while it was outside? Oh, brother. This is gonna be nasty. Where am I going? <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, that's not good. I gotta do this all by my lonesome? Oh, I was just saying I don't want to do platforming with these. And look what you do. Ah! You evil pole. Oh, I probably should just shoot you. That would be good. Uh, yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm killing myself here. <laughs> hey. Okay. Uh, <laughs> just uh, just a second. Basically, I'm like looking for my aimer shadow to see where I can jump. Seriously. Ah, oh. come on, man. How, how, what's going on here? This is very awkward. Should I just shoot them? Make my life easier here. Uh, okay. I'm gonna go back down this way. <laughs> Was a mistake, or was it? Oh, come on, man! Ah, this is so awkward. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe I should heal. of these poles are there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, take out the healing one. Dude, take out the healing one. Ah. 
Uh, okay, the white one's always the last one. Cool. Holy moly. That was some unnecessary Bologna. I found out I can just hop right over here. I said hop right up. Alright then, I can't do that at all. Oops. Man, yeah, falling off cliffs constantly while you're in battle is, uh, it's kind of rough. <laughs> There's no auto heal. Okay. Oh my lord. I can't tell where I am in space and time. Okay. Here we go. This is gonna be nasty. Oh my lord! What did I tell you? Dang, I just completely absorbs all of them into my wave death. Wow. One enormous explosion. They all just kind of died. That was good. That was nice. Uh-oh. Who am I? So hungry. Must eat. Don't do it. You eat. Are you feeding me? That'd be nice. Oh, Cephasloth. Oh, that's a nice reference there. Oh, he's got the Cephasloth blade, man. Oh. Lots of wave. Ugh. Maybe I'm supposed to hit him while he's doing that crazy spin to win there. Okay. Maybe not. Or when he's when he's doing that. That attack right there. Okay, do it, do it. Yeah, I think that was it. But I also got hit there, I think. <laughs> You're not so bad. Yeah, that's definitely what I have to do. Eat this! <laughs> okay, so far, not so bad. Man, having to hit him while he's about to slash me, that's not cool. Ooh. Yeah. I mean, so far his pattern's not so bad, so that's good. Oh, I broke him. Yeah. Get wrecked, you big teddy. Oh, God! Huh? Uh-oh. Okay. All right. Ah! <laughs> oh, my God. That hurts so much. Take it easy, man. Ah, uh, here we go again. All right, I think I got this one figured out. Uh. Eat some of this, Cephasloth! Okay, it's too fast. It's too fast. <laughs> oh, dude, he killed me. Oh, no. 
Cephasloth, why? Sloth, please! Ah! Went right into it. Okay. Just gotta be bitter about the healing timing here. Oh, he's doing it again, dude. Okay. <laughs> no! Ugh. Okay, heal. <laughs> Oh, come on, he's almost broken. Whew. You're going down, buddy! Oh, finally. Cephas Loth! Whew. Bug found. Initiating air routine working. Okay. Analyzing, finalizing error routine. So wait, those poles were fixing bugs? Wait, what just happened there? So the poles were good things the whole time? Hmm, I don't know, man. Something fishy going on here. And why was that Cephasloth talking? Is it because he's like Sephiroth and he's like... Questioning his own existence or something? I don't know. I really don't know what's happening anymore. <laughs> but hopefully, uh, that'll at least stop the crazy wicked things from showing up everywhere. And the Shad will let us into the Grand Kriskajo. Maybe. There are chests everywhere in here. Oh, you gotta jump on these mushrooms, it looks like. They're platforms. Oh, man. Once again, I have to find my way up to the next level. <laughs> and I have no idea how to do that. you, man. I've had enough of your kind Cephasloths. I mean, Behesloths. They're just straight up Final Fantasy references. These sloths, I guess. Hey, wait just a minute. Hello. Two mega sandwiches. All right, man. Good. Let's see if we can go this way. These mushrooms are a little jiggly. Let's try going down first. Oh, that cat's following us, man. Oh, I can't. Look, it's at a higher level. I gotta go this way. Uh oh. That's no good. Dang it, man. <laughs> and here I thought I was making some sweet progress. Oh, that. That burns. There's a chest right over there. I'll get it. I'm gonna get it. Aha. 
venom shrooms. Nice. I see you, kitty. You can't reach me up here, can you? Nope. Alright, well... Wait, wasn't there like a teleporting thingy? I wonder if I could just hit it. With luck. Is that possible? With luck? Hmm. I don't know, man. It's down over here. That would be pretty tricky. Whoops! I'm sorry! Ah! Oh my god! Ah! <laughs> this place really is filled with those purple kitties. But damn, they sure are fast once you make them angry. Don't touch me! Stop! Stop touching me! Oh god. Huh. Okay, you know what? I'll come back and I'll try to get these chests later. <laughs> For now, it's time to go back to where we were going. Back to the professor. Hopefully she knows what the heck's going on with these poles, because I sure don't. Hold it! What business do you have with Dr. Cretia? Hi? I see. Please wait here for a moment. <laughs> You're cleared. What is up with the security, Dr. Cretia? Well, hello, Seeker. You've been gone quite a while. Excuse my overprotective bodyguard. Somehow the mayor thinks it necessary. As if I needed it. So, what did you find? Sorry. What? You found a strange black sloth north of the infested marshes? It was doing something to a part of the track? A pole appeared and repaired part of the temple? It's like... <laughs> it's like Lassie, you know? Like Lassie's just barking, but the kid can understand everything she's saying. <laughs> Very interesting. Could it be that these poles were triggered as a certain countermeasure? I analyzed the data I got from the poles you fought here. These poles act very much like a form of debugging process, each pole checking a certain subfunction or routine. When it can't find a problem, it extends the search by creating more poles. Something must have gone wrong and the track's debugger identified the Shad and us as the cause. Which isn't too far-fetched, judging from our experience with the mine. Ironic that the actual cause was right in front of them. Well, anyway, since no more poles are spawning, I think we can assume we calmed the track. Still, I'll make my way there now to make sure my assumptions are correct. Even though, I'm pretty sure I'm right. Probably take Vince along to protect me from the evil track. Thank you, Seeker. I'll talk to Katara on my way there. Hopefully the Shad will see reason. And not murder you? We found the actual cause! Rather gloomy looking beast destroyed part of the Zirvatar temple which caused the track to start a process that was trying to fix the damaged part but was running haywire. Alright, well that's... A good as explanation as any, I suppose. Goodness me, that was bananas. They're all gone. Seeker! Hi! Lou and I were just talking. Thank you so much for finding the cause of all our problems. I already talked to my people, and now, and for now, they at least will let you seekers to the tree. However, it might take a while until they all see the fruits of your labor. I'll do my best to restore the relationship between humans and Shad. Thank you again, Seeker, and may we meet again. Bye. Goodbye, Katar. Goodbye. And goodbye, my dear viewers.
because next time we'll be going to create Grand Crisco Joe and uh, I don't even know what the heck is waiting us there. Probably more dungeon, I guess, with both wave and shock elements. Uh, I can only foresee the puzzles being extremely horrible, so good luck to us all. See you guys then. Bye-bye.